Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, nice to see you guys. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We're um, excited to be here together, and uh, Actually, happy spring. Are we on? No, well, yes. we're not, well, we're not in spring yet. I mean, I think we've got about 22 days no, ago. No, it comes, it's like it's the 21st. Pa yeah, and St. Patty's Day is next week. So. The, the like green. green. I it's think, got green. I it's got green. But then the I mean, more importantly, you, you know what this week, week you know, represents. What? This completes our second year of doing this gig. Well, oh, that too. Word. Yeah, we're kind of kicking. Years, we're huh? kicking at this. You know, our next show will kick our third year off. And we're just pros now, right? Yeah, we're just pros, <laughs> yeah. Here I am with my Duck and Donuts coffee because I forgot to throw it in an HKM mug, you know, I'm writing down notes of what we're supposed to talk about. I'm just thrilled people watch, you know, it's really kind of it was exciting. Like, you know? I, one of my neighbors called me the other day, she's like, I'm watching you on TV, nice boots. And I'm like, uh, so I click it over, it was the show we did with Beth DeLiva last year for the, um, Oh. The welcome wagon, hometown yeah. hospitality, and then I started thinking about the different guests we've had through the year. We've had an amazing array of people that have been on our couch. It's I mean, one we were with group. last night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, we were both at um, Patricia and I were both at uh, Ronak. And how do you say her last name? Ronak uh, Hussein, who's a <laughs> retirement a retirement party. For folks who don't know, retiring as director of the Hopkinton Library and after about a little over eleven 10 years. years. Wow. Yeah, the paper said this morning, but yeah. the. Um, and then we'll go from there here this morning over to the library groundbreaking yes. for the new, and that marks her very last day before she moves south. You, you keep better in the south. Yeah. Um, but Having the um, first grandchild, which yeah, is really was but, the catalyst for this retirement. You know, right one now. of the things I was thinking about is like, you know, this time last year we were talking about, you know, we, we have to help get a vote for the library, we have to get this passed, right. and so, and now we're past that, and today, not only is she retiring, ground. we're breaking ground, ground. and you I know, in two it. years we're moving in. I've, have you? I've yeah. been to the other location on South Street. Have you guys been well, over there? My husband goes all the time because he's a library fan and, and is in there like every few weeks. It devours fiction books as for relaxation. That's great. He's in there. You know, I was struck yesterday, I have to say, at the retirement, how I was so impressed with the library staff and um, the Heather. head of adult services, Heather, I forget her last name. I just they're so poised, so articulate. And you sit there and go, of course, they're librarians. They're super well read. I mean, just the way they... Um, I don't know, it made me so proud of, of everything well, that we have there. And, and pride being the point, we have an incredible resource here in town and we are so fortunate. And Absolutely. when you think about the resources in town, this is just a great community. Well, it was the library, the HCA. The, the people who spoke last night mm -hmm. represented really several, you know, uh, very much a new generation in town which represents the foundation people yes. to the trustees that are elected officials that kind of help oversee some of the management of the issues to the friends of the library and the friends of the library I'm going to be sure are often a lot of seniors and stuff like that involved and they're the ones representing the apple crisp at Polly R. Oh, yeah. yeah. And each group I think and, and last year <laughs> and that, and that's so much fun. And then the, um, the staff and that how um, each generation seems to be in different exactly. kind of pockets and demographics in town seem it to be touched it. by that, the library. That pivotal role as the library director, how Ronick, in an unassuming way, works with all these different right. groups and that, in different ways and lets them be the personality that that group is, like the, the ones who are in charge of fundraising, all oh, these Oktoberfests and Pink Nights, and I mean, they're off, just off to the races with wonderful activities that are fun to go to, I mean, great I think fundraisers. The thing that came up last night over and over again when speaking about Ronak or speaking about the library was one word, and that was community. Right. Yeah. And it kept coming up over and over again. And, you know, even Ronak, when she was saying her goodbye speech was, you know, it comes down to the community. It wasn't yeah. just me, it was the community. Right, exactly. And, um, it was really, really fun. Well, she, she definitely um, was a value in the community. Exactly. Looking forward to the new director, and and um, maybe we well, can get an them interim. on the show. And, uh, and to yeah. to Ronnie's question, you know, credit. An, she um, recommended an interim, which has been installed, right. and then at some point they'll do some search for the permanent right. one or whatever. But right. um, the transition, yeah, which is the great. transition, which she just has been handled everything just beautifully. Another guest I thought about that was here last year was, um, and I don't think you were at this show, or one of you wasn't here, there was only two of us that did it, that uh -huh. was Mary Ellen Grady. Oh, I wasn't I, here no, for her. No, I was here. It was, 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 yeah, was, yeah, um, was fun. And, you know, 
Mary Ellen Sorry. is, <laughs> you know, the vice principal. Of, the is yeah. the vice principal of the middle so. school, and at that point, we right. had her come on her. Yeah. to talk about, you know, she was, at that point she was going to launch, she was going to run the marathon for the Sky's the Limit Courtyard, yeah. which a big hunk of it is donated is um, named after Shane Shane's, who's in my sister's grade, yeah. who was killed. Oh. But um, you know, it's a you know a year later, the courtyard's done. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's gone from groundbreaking to now the kids are actually using it. They're going to have some live performances ha happening out there. And I'm looking at things that have happened, you know, from completion. Like this time last year, we were talking about all the festivities for 300. Oh, 300. Right. Oh, like, well, so and we started yeah. looking forward to them yeah. and stuff like that. Now it's all passed. Well, the all HCA over. is There's another nothing. one. We had Kelly Grill on, yeah. and yeah. that was well before that building was finished, or even, yeah, it was like no, maybe even was, started. I think she was on the year before. And exactly, but it's still a dream, it, it, you know. And then it's like, you know, it, there we were at the gala this year. Yeah. And it, incredible resource to the town, really cool. In fact, they're starting in April, first Friday, and I think it's April Fool's oh, is the first oh, Friday course. with performances. So yeah. Well, the first one was last week. It was, was March it, 4th. Do Barbara Kessler led that. Okay. Who was actually another guest from last yeah. year? Yeah. Or this past year? She's, I don't know. She's also doing this first Friday. So she's doing all the first, first Fridays. Mm -hmm. So check it out. First Fridays is a Barbara Kessler presenting Wonderful. So what is, what is the event? Do you, do you know more about it in terms yeah. of what? First but, Fridays yeah. at HCA or is an open mic. Okay. So there'll be one featured performer that, and then, and then other anybody people else shows up. Oh, fun. Yeah, so you can come sing. Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> that, that, I'll pass you know, it Bring your banjo and you're all set. <laughs> She's got an accordion. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, it's a great opportunity for high schoolers who like to perform. Yeah. It's a great opportunity for anybody who just really wants to get uh, uh, brave. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Performers. But, um, and, and then they, they have also resurrected um, sort of the storytelling, the moth. Oh, yeah. And, and that has just started. Um, it's coming up in... Is that the one that's been at the Bittersweet? Yes. Okay. And that's okay. a Bittersweet, and so that's another community activity. I they haven't just gone had to their that. first, and they're going to have another one, and I wish I could find the dates. Go to look, guys. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. on Fridays, um, too. That's so, but not the first Friday. So it's, it's uh, a lot of good happenings in town coming up. Um, so coming up, are we yeah, going to start couple, talking about yeah, things coming up, well or do you want to wait till later? Or? I well, don't care. Right. We're just so, um, yeah, just so, us chickens. This so morning. the <laughs> HPTA Family Fun Basket Raffle is next, is the uh, weekend of um, St. Patrick's Day. I believe it's um, yep. Saturday the nineteenth at Hopkins School, and it's kind of fun. It not that it isn't for people whose kids are out of school. You can, it, but it really is geared for younger families. You buy a bunch of raffle tickets, and they're geared. The baskets are geared for families. Kids. They're games. There's beach packages. Um, I remember when we were going, and that's when like SpongeBob and Dora were big. I don't know if they still are, but yes, um, they are. <laughs> um, we, and I know we won like a Hey Doug basket, which I think he's off the air. <laughs> but, um, These are all born. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there's a lot of fun it's kind of and, but it's, it's a fundraiser, but it's also very much a young family activity. Yeah. There's inflatables, there's a magic show, there's face painting oh, and fun. stuff like that. So it really is geared up for that. Um, this weekend, um, actually it starts this weekend and it runs for over a week and a half. At the HCA is the... Um, the Putnam Spelling Bee. Oh, now that cute. is not from Young Families. It is a very tongue-in-cheek, funny, hilarious show for adults. Yeah, oh. it's hilarious. just bluntly for adults. Is it a spelling bee though? No, <laughs> it's a it's a production. Oh, okay, all right. No, no, no. Well. It's a it's a it's a very well-known play, and it's oh, it's okay. funny. It's, it's <laughs> we should go tonight. Maybe. It's pretty hilarious. But, um, so the Putnam and then I the no idea. Hopkinton High School has a performance coming up, and it's. Um, well, there's also the... What's um, it called? It's... Oh, I have, you know, there's this... So where spooky. do people go for all the activities in town to a list? Is it HCAM, I think, I post HCAM everything. HCAM has a, best, best has a community yeah. of um, calendar, and I think HCAM's calendar is probably the best. Yeah. Um, the, the, it's called um, 
Spoon River Anthology, and that's that runs this I, weekend. And that is the at. Huffington High School's spring drama, that's and that, oh. that's this weekend. And, and I don't know anything about that already. And um, it's, well, it's I'm terribly. always amazed. I don't get to all the productions at the high school, but when you do, you're blown away at the level the talent. of talent oh my word. and professionalism of, of sets and production. There really were, you know, the whole point being, you can stay right in town if you don't feel like, you know, vent, after you've been up and down the pike all week or whatever, you want to stay home and just do stuff locally with, you know, as a couple, as a family, oh, whatever. I'm I know. Stay local. <laughs> I know. I'm dying. I'm going to tell everybody about this crazy week we had, this one day of travel. <laughs> oh, that, you too? Me too. I mean, it just in terms of, it was so funny. Um, the summer day we had Wednesday. I don't think she's laughing. Well, I'm laughing now. I wasn't laughing this uh, week. I mean, no, it wasn't that. I mean, it was bad, but it was train broke so, down. We, we both trains, had, we, planes, and automobiles. We both had reasons to go to Boston, and we're going in separate directions. I convinced you to take the train because I'm a fan of the train. You know, even though I don't and go every course, day. And of course, the day that she the does day it. The day that we go. I mean, it's never broken down like that on me. It breaks down completely. We have to get off. We meet strangers, we get un into a joint Uber cab who doesn't know where he's going. I had to, made my meeting, I jumped out. You jumped, she's like, can you get off here? I have to go to Back Bay. The other two of us were going to South Station. Right. Then he can't find South Station. He kept circling around, going like, through Chinatown, circling around. And I was going to Dorchester and um, the kid in the back seat, I'm in the front, he's flipping out because he's, he's a high school kid late With meeting his buddies. With skateboard trying to go party. And, and, um, <laughs> I, the third time we saw, I saw the Broadway sub state, subway station and I knew the red line went toward Dorchester, I'm like, drop me off here. <laughs> and I just jump out and threw 10 bucks at the kid for the Uber guy. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I got on that, got, on, got off at some place called Ashmont and I'm like, I had talked to some lady on the train and I was out like trying to figure out the bus route to get me like the two and a half miles I still had to get about to um, my <laughs> meeting. And she's like, I have a car if you want to go with me. And I'm like, Yes. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? And she, she, she dropped me off about three blocks away. And then after my meeting, the lady dropped me off at a different train station to get me back to South Station and got home that way, uneventful. But it was just, um, I think the main, I think the thing that surprised some people was that I actually hopped in a car with a stranger. She was very nice. <laughs> we hopped we in two cars with strangers, you know, two times with strangers. We were, it was funny. Adventures in community. And she jumps out exactly. first and leaves me with the strangers. By the way. <laughs> she ditched me with strangers in, in well, the Uber. Uber does background she, checks, don't they? Oh, the Uber does. Oh, yeah, 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 really <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my, funny. Uber does great background <laughs> checks because he can't find Stell Station and you leave me with Unbackground check skateboard guy who could have just knocked me out. <laughs> he was a sweet lad from Westboro. I had screened him in the back, believe me. Oh, you screened him, I yeah, was yeah. talking to him in the back. I knew, you know, yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. everything. His and then, and then I'm thinking, like, oh, I'll probably come back with her. My car's at her house. So my car is, is held hostage. She's not even at the train station. She's, <laughs> no. she's and, and, and plead for others. And she's, um, oh, um, I'm going to go with one of my friends to go have cocktails. I'm like, I'm sorry. That's nice. Next I, time I, I, just, do better. I just had a pretzel from Annie's and I'm eating that on my way home. And I'm like calling people like, I can't go home my husband. I call Connie. I call someone else who actually lives around the Portland Trace. I'm like, can you get me over to my car that's held hostage at Patricia's house? <laughs> no. So a day I left my house for a 90 minute meeting. You I left at 10, hours later. I left at 10, 15 in the morning and I pulled in my driveway at 6.40 at night. <laughs> Thanks, Patricia. Awesome. I owe you. I owe awesome. you. I brought you breakfast yesterday, so I owe uh, you a she drink. She brought me a little fried egg sandwich made up for you. Oh, I'm a big spender. She was going to buy me a martini last night. I didn't see that happening. <laughs> hey, the night's still young. I'm the day's still young. Yeah. So you drive in all the time, though, don't you? Well, my problem is that with my work, I may be at meeting A, that I need to be at B, C, and D. So yeah. uh, as an example, um, I am leaving here. I go into Babson. Then Aren't you I'm getting your haircut in between? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was leaving out the person. <laughs> Don't you look lovely? It's going to look even better. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are tough. <laughs> oh, and, and then I go to Stoneham. Oh. So I go from here to Babson to Stoneham. Um, to Boston, mm. back here, 
And there just is no oh, easy yeah. way. You can't use commuter rails. There's the actually days, no easy way in and out of stardom either. Once the, you get off, all you do is wind uh, it because there. The days I have an entire day in Boston, I love it. Yeah. I can just, because I can sit back and take the train. But there's like twice a year. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So, no, it? I, I'm, I'm driving a lot. I'm a road warrior, and it just is. The good news is with Google, it tells me my ETA. It yeah. tells me if my traditional route is faster or slower than the back roads. So. I mean, I know people love Waze. I don't like Waze. Oh, Mine works yeah. great. No, no, the Waze app. Waze is is now being adopted by Google Maps, uh, so when you, it gives you the what traffic I didn't reports. What I don't like about Waze is the people Google making the Waze, people the people uh, making the comments. You know, oh, oh stuff that and that those pop ups during it. Oh, oh, so just stop doing that. Just use Google Maps. I only use Google Maps. And Google Maps has incorporated the data from Waze, so you don't get the comments. You just get the the real time the traffic report, mm. and it says faster route. You hit. So yeah, that's what I do. And I've had one of these whirlwinds where last weekend I, it sounded like pleasure, but it wasn't. Well, it was pleasure. But it was, I went to do my mom's taxes. Yeah, so in, Florida. in Florida. Yeah. On my, the beach. I, midnight arrival, Thursday night. I needed a work day in case I needed to call banks, et cetera. Yep. So I did her taxes on Friday. So I did have Saturday. But it's prime time. I couldn't get a reasonable direct flight back on Sunday. So I spent, you know, nine hours traveling for what should be a three-hour flight. because the only way I could oh, go. Oh, wow. So, you know. Did you book way in advance? Or no, did, the yeah. problem was I didn't okay. book in advance. Yeah. It was, it was, and this is prime time in Florida. Everybody's going. I got to tell you, you know, and, and I, yeah, the place is overloaded. It's like, oh, my God, there's a bazillion people here. Um, but trying to get a little to see of that mom, 90-year-old mom. Yay. She's walking. Oh, it. she looks wonderful. I love the picture. She looks great. I like her little um, shri her, not shrine, but her little motivational area. Her her table oh. with all her goodies that she cares with her about. hairdresser's business card. <laughs> so <laughs> so right. I'm sitting down, um, doing something for her, and she's got a little phone area, which is her little kind of desk in her kitchen. And this is a riot. There's a little pennant felt. And it was from my great aunties who were suffragettes who, who you know, mm. went out in, and, you know, marched for the women's vote. And it says something like, you know, have fun today because tomorrow you may be married. Oh. <laughs> A major quote Whoa. from um, Truman about, uh, and it's just so apropos in this political season, about what makes America great that I just thought was incredible mm. um, and then a prayer for uh, giving thanks for your meal mm. and then her hairdresser <laughs> card. all the important so, stuff so yes and, and it's like okay and every night she goes to the sunset yeah she is and now that's kind of a community thing does, it, does she got the so, neighbors go and whatnot so she belongs to a private park the beach is open to the public but the park has all these benches and the people that go to the park are all park members. Well, she is queen of the park. And strangers <laughs> come up to her, and the one night we went there, there wasn't a totally open bench, but there was this young lady um, at the bench, at, at one of the benches, and we said, well, can we, are you expecting others, or may we? Oh, please come join us. I knew who my mom was. She just moved here a month ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, you know, so it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> so anyway, cute. but back to town and back to things going on. Well, I'm um, excited about our upcoming, we have to get into the details here, but our upcoming getaway weekend that we've planned. Uh, to, to have a little weekend in Maine. Going up to Portland, Maine. Just as a, you know, this is, that's common now. I mean, you see that, and maybe just because we made that, I'm getting all kind of posts and stuff from travel agents about girls' getaway weekend. Simultaneous you know. to us doing that, I also booked for um, a weekend in April with some high school girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also doing the sisters because we do this when we hit milestone birthdays. I'm not hitting a milestone, <laughs> but, but um, my one uh, cousin turned 60 this year. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, you'd be traveling. I, I, I need it though. This has been the winter well, for I mean, two of those are you're actually going on planes. Uh, yeah, yes. I think Portland. Actually, not one of them is playing. The other one I'm driving down to Pennsylvania ah. and then driving to Portland. So I'll That'll do be road fun. Trip. I'm just ready road to. Trip. I'm ready for spring. It's here. Oh, you know, my winter's word. over. I don't yeah, care. I, I, I mean, don't. I wish our weekend was before May, but. Let's yeah, I know. 
Okay. I'll be up there before. I mean, then, I think. I'm yeah. Gonna a times. It's going to be yeah. a great weekend weather-wise this weekend. Yep. It's going to be warm and yep. warmish, milder and sunny, and Get I'll out. take it. I yeah. love the, the memes, you know, those posters on Facebook that go, you know, oh my God, it's summer because it's summer. 50 degrees, summer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, I've been outside without a jacket on. It's great. Yeah. It's great. I smelled fresh cut grass this morning and saw a lawnmower out. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right here. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jim, the station manager, and I are walking in together, and he's like, doesn't it seem kind of early to like be mowing the lawn? I said, doesn't it seem kind of wet? <laughs> it really rained last night, and they're out there mowing it. Uh, like, I think they were, might have been doing the, it might have been a way to do the lawn cleanup, because, but it smelled like grass. It's like, oh, my. Yeah. So or we might be jump-starting this season early. But Oh, and this weekend. What? Isn't, no, which weekend? Clocks. Spring ahead this weekend. Spring ahead. It's spring ahead. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. It is, yeah. Spring, spring ahead. ahead. Change No share jokes, nothing. It's just spring ahead. Spring <laughs> ahead. Just spring ahead. I had um, somebody say, like, we, you know, you spring ahead on, on Saturday night or early Sunday morning. Right. Why don't you do it on Friday at 4 p.m.? Because it ends <laughs> you know? a week. Well, I mean, you know, people work, people that commute or have, yeah. you know, say, you know, five o'clock yeah, at five o'clock. Right. You know, do it at the time like of that night. Idea. I know. Maybe I'll just do it mentally and, and uh, right. um, be, be ahead of the bit. game. So, but all these, you know, makes the building going up next to Yogurt Beach is just coming along. Wow. I didn't realize how huge it was going to be. It goes all the all, yeah, so far could, back. They've really. I can't wait to see what goes in well, there. Well, it's not as big as it was originally going to be. There, it was supposed to be two stories and things like that. It was actually going to be wider oh. and stuff too. So they cut it back. It's not two stories. I think it's two. It's two story. Yeah, I think it's but two. I, I, it's definitely it not, as, it's not yeah. as big as no. it was going to so be. They actually that had that one, and then the the big development behind China, uh, Dynasty. You know, the, the whole, the whole right big thing. At, at, um, so by spring, Lumber summer, and Main Street. There's going to be a whole lot of new things. Yeah, I, th I think the Masiello um, on the, um, West Main and uh, Lumber will be done. And and in the summer. talking mm -hmm. about new happenings, um, Snappy Dogs is moving to Western Nurseries. Snappy and, Dogs. And April first. Nothing says summer like they, Snappy Dogs. They open up yeah. April first, so that's going to be cool. Um, yeah, bills. You know, we've had plenty of oh. lunch and bills. You know, which is a lovely bar I area just now. This this um, week it's become like a cocktail little yeah. hangout for. Them of us. Exactly. Well, that's where I had cocktails this that's week. That's right. Those are fun. I yeah. mean, it's nice. Yeah. They have nice little bar food, too. I mean, different yeah. things. You and know. you can't get it at the regular yeah. station. You gotta sit at the bar. So I'm like, okay. So, exactly. And I think where they enclose the little outside patio actually looks that's nice. And it, yeah. nice. It, um, where we, where we, I've sat in the back a couple times where it's raised up. You have to watch it. Okay. That drop is one heck of a Dixie after you've had a couple of us <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm, I'm clumsy enough as it is. So. Oh, no. Yeah. You've had a couple of mishaps. Oh, yeah. That, that part, too, on the way back from Adventure Day where, like, the some, commuters two, motor down. two women in a rush rushed past me while Knock we're, like, walking. Over. Knocked the me over with a little... Fat girl with a pink backpack looking like a turtle about a <laughs> Fat girl with a pink had backpack. A, you had a workout. I said, oh, you know, getting out on the train, you get exercise, you see people. That certainly happened. <laughs> I she got so that, that. that promise was kept. <laughs> <laughs> she saw people. <laughs> so wow. everybody's so, good with family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. good segue on a very, on a more serious note. I, I mean, I think overall people, my family's good. My Yours family's great. Good. My daughter got back from Paris. Oh, yeah. Ten days. Paris Fashion Week. She's still in school, graduates this spring, and it's like she made choices, but, you know, she's still going to graduate. It's just, oh, oh, good. You know, she should be working on schoolwork, but did Paris yeah. Fashion Week, worked there. So, yeah, kids are great. Yeah, are doing good, too. I'm just yep. happy. Both are career-bound and doing oh good. God. Here's, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think I administered my first midterm this week. Sorry to cool. interrupt. That was amazing. I have to tell you, I'm learning so much. I'm teaching a class at Tufts, just one. I still have my day job, but amazing, and I'm learning so much, and I had to give them a midterm this week. No, I'm done. I don't know how never the teacher was. Uh, <laughs> do, little do they know. I mean, I think on Real Housewives, like subscriber news, we've sent out this week our seventh subscriber um, e-newsletter of the year. With some, there have been really decent deals going yeah. out there, and there's oh, some yeah. really cool ones that are going to pop up this spring. So if you are interested in becoming a subscriber, everything else, it's um, www.realhoppingtonhousewives.com. Or ping one of us. Yep. And um, the, you, um, um, you know, and as, you know, I'm thinking about one of our advertisers, Arena, and like the deals on meats and stuff like that. I mean, my husband has to There is cook amazing. It. My husband, my husband yeah. has to cook it. They, we had a, we ordered a whole lamb, so um, we'll be cooking a lamb on the That's spit. For people who don't know, Arena Butcher and Sons. Too. This I wanna, Easter? I, not that, I, but I want to order a whole lamb, but have them 
chop it up They'll for me. They'll quarter it for you. Yeah. They ask you if you want the head on or not. Yeah. <laughs> we will That's because some advanced meat making. The, um, <laughs> oh and then on a personal yeah. note, yes. um, I know I've posted on my personal Facebook wall and I've shared a couple times on the Royal Housewives World. I have a nephew, Justin, who's about 14 years old um, with a lot of physical um, ailments. Uh, he is on a wait list for a kidney transplant, but he is in Children's Hospital right now. Wow. If you've ever mm -hmm. considered, um, we're going to post up a picture of Justin. Um, so if you're watching this, his picture's probably there and I'm talking to air. But um, <laughs> you need to be, uh, if you've ever been interested in being a kidney donor, uh, they're definitely looking for people to be screened for Justin or anyone. But uh, you need a BMI of under 30, under 60 years old. And then they go from there. It's um, free. The, that doesn't even matter. Just get screened. Yeah. yeah. Get um, screened. Get it's, screened. It's that's it. Um, you can save a life. And um, that's it. Yeah. But um, thank you, guys. Well, yeah. yeah and, and hopefully he will be better. Yeah. But um, And not to end on that note, but it is St. Patrick's Day. Come when, when is it? When is it? The 17th, 17th, like it is Thursday. every year. Oh, I, well, I, you know. Yeah. She just celebrates. I just celebrate. Yeah. But that was actually the first time we all sort of got together. That was on the, the uh, start. That was like four or five years ago. That was the official RHH. Uh, the John Stones. Yeah. Everything. John Stones had about eight people. And that was Maybe how we should do that again. Facebook just sort of do, no, yeah. No, we should, we yeah. should do something that it's an all comer and yeah. you know we'll put something together just as a commemorate that yeah. start so. so have a great weekend check yeah. out the plays at hca check out the plays at the high school and have a great week yeah, yeah. good to see you thanks for joining us see you soon I'm Dr. Gerba Wolf. And I'm Dr. Nadine Tung. About one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. The good news is that death rates have been declining because of increased awareness and earlier detection. Early detection is critically important as it improves the chances that the cancer can be treated successfully with more treatment options that can result in better outcomes. Current recommendations are that women in the 20s and 30s without symptoms should have a clinical breast exam every three years. The risk of breast cancer increases with age, however, and women should consider screening tests beginning at age 40. Women can also reduce the risk of breast cancer by eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and drinking fewer alcoholic beverages. For more information on preventive measures and screening, visit the American Cancer Society at cancer.org. Hi, I'm Jen Belisi from Golden Pond Assisted Living in Hopkinton. Staying active is essential to happy and healthy aging. Golden Pond has activities for seniors and people of every age. There is a diverse range of opportunities to be had. We've made some friendships, not acquaintances. If you'd like to participate in any of Golden Pond's upcoming events, visit the events page on Golden Pond's website or call 508-435-1250 for more information. We hope to see you soon.